type this URL into your web browser. This will take you to a Dropbox download link. Download the files. Once you have downloaded the files, open the folder and look at the README file for important information. Then open up the MIDI mapping zip file. Inside here you'll find an image of the files and folder location. Yours should re resemble this. If you do not have a music icon on your left hand toolbar, select Finder and go to Computer. Open up Mac or a hard drive and then the Users folder. Open up your username and there is the music folder. Drag and drop it to your left hand toolbar. This is where we want to place the files. Now open up your music folder and inside there there should be a DJ folder. Open up the previously downloaded files and there should be a MIDI mappings folder with two files in it. Drag and drop the MIDI mapping file folder into the DJ folder in your music folder. It should resemble something like the image inside the downloaded folder as you can see on the screen. open up DJ app and once it, with the cable connected to the controller once you open up DJ you'll see the new mark sign appear. All the MIDI functions should be correctly mapped and now working. To double check the settings open up preferences and go to devices. You want to make sure the main output and pre-queuing are set to IDJ Pro channels 1, 2 and 3 and 4. Click apply. This should all now be set up correctly to work with your Mac as if the iPad was plugged into the IDJ Pro. Enjoy.